Did Gattaca predict the future of humanity almost three decades ago? The sci-fi movie produced by Andrew Nicole in 1997 shows us a world where humans are no longer born through random fertilization, but instead made in a lab with all their traits being selected from birth. Life expectancy, 30.2 years. And with the discovery of CRISPR, how close are we to seeing it become a reality? Could my kid become the next Albert Einstein? Genetic engineering has been integrated into human life. The first signs of genetic engineering can be dated back 12,000 years in Southeast Asia, where early humans domesticated plants and animals like the wolves through artificial breeding. But the concept of genes and DNA wasn't discovered until the mid-1800s, when an Austrian monk who went by the name Gregor Mendel found the basic principles of heredity through his experiments with pea plants. And then it blasted off. Watson and Crick, with the help of Rosalind Franklin, were able to find the double helix bond of DNA in 1953. Recombinance was accomplished by Boyer and Cohen in 1973, and restriction enzymes were discovered by Hamilton Smith in 1970. By the early 2000s, there were already several transgenic species in the market, like the flavor saver tomato, which had a longer shelf life than the normal variety. But all these experiments were long complicated and extremely costly. CRISPR 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 CRISPR-Cas9 CRISPR was the new breakthrough in genetic engineering and lowered the cost, time, and complication of all the experiments. The most notable example of CRISPR in the real world can be seen through bacteria while fighting off viruses. Let's say that the bacteria was attacked by bacteriophages, viruses who killed bacteria by inserting their own DNA into the bacteria. Normally, after getting attacked by a bacteriophage, the infected bacteria will die off, but in rare occasions, a bacteria will actually survive the virus. The surviving bacteria will then save some of the virus's DNA, then store it in their DNA archive called CRISPR, so when the virus attacks again, it's able to create an mRNA and send it to the protein Cas9. Cas9 acts like a surgeon and scours all the DNA to find the exact match with the mRNA it was provided. From there, it cuts out that piece of DNA. But the one trait which makes CRISPR special is that it's programmable, so we can send it specific sequences to find and replace. Simply put, CRISPR allows humans to edit the very genome that makes things, things. It has been used to treat HIV, malaria, cancer, and has even cured blindness. CRISPR could also help solve our hunger and population problem. CRISPR can help us develop crops, which can thrive in extreme weather like droughts and floods. But even with all the good that CRISPR can do, many people have now become skeptical of genetic editing because of the idea of designer babies. Like the movie Gattaca, designer babies are an idea of manipulating the gene pool in order to birth a perfect human being. He, Giant Kui, an independent scientist, was the first person to use CRISPR on a human zygote, resulting in the birth of two sister twins who are the world's first transgenic humans. These twins are totally different from the consented experiments. You see, normally CRISPR modifies DNA in stomatic cells, which doesn't affect all the other cells and also can't be passed down by GNQ modify the zygote, the first cell of a human, and the change here in the DNA will affect every cell in the emerging body. This caused a lot of backlash by his colleagues and media, calling him responsible 